Alright, today we'll be finding the reactions of this beam. We'll be finding it at the red triangle and the blue circle. Let's start by finding out the reaction at the blue circle. We're going to be using the red triangle as the fulcrum. And then we have to measure the forces from there. We have two kilonewtons and we have six kilonewtons. We have two kilonewtons from the one meter times two kilonewtons a meter. Then we have six from the three meters times two kilonewtons a meter. It's also good to note that the force happens halfway between the distributed load, so the 2 kilonewtons is uh, 0.5 meters away from the triangle, and the 6 kilonewtons is 1.5 meters away from the triangle. The force to the left of the triangle is going to want to make the beam go counterclockwise. All counterclockwise rotations will be counted as positive. The force on the right of the beam is going to make the beam go clockwise. All clockwise rotations will be counted as negative. The blue circle will also be applying a force counterclockwise, and the total moment of the beam will be zero, so let's put this into the formula. We have 2 kilonewtons times 0.5 meters, and this is going counterclockwise, so it's positive. Then we have minus 6 kilonewtons times 1.5 meters, and this is uh, clockwise, so it's negative. Then we have 3 meters times the force at the blue circle, and this is going counterclockwise, so it's positive. And this all equals zero. So after we do a little rearranging, we get 2.66 kilonewtons as the reaction at the blue circle. Now if we take the total force on the beam of 8 kilonewtons minus 2.66 kilonewtons, we get 5.33 kilonewtons, which is the reaction at the tr red triangle. You can also do this by using the circle as a fulcrum and solving for the reaction at uh, the red triangle. Mm -hmm.